What are you doing? I was, it was wiggling. I was on the <laughs> Your laugh. Could you like find a new laugh? Please. How do you find a new laugh? I don't know, but do you have to snort? <laughs> you sound like sugar eating. Oh, don't, don't insult my girlfriend. Okay. Like that. Am I ready? Do I look ready? Am I ready? Let's do this. What's up, you guys? So it's your girl, April, and today's video is, of course, a wig storage video. I don't know what you're doing, Nay, with the freaky camera. Just hold it at the top of the pole. Right, there you go. Oh, here we go again. What's up, you guys? So it's your girl, April, and today's video, of course, you guys are... Why are you holding it like that? Hold oh the bottom, God. too. Hold the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's for. There you go. Because so it's hard to find help. Okay. Like seriously. Okay, you ready? Oh my god. Ah Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Like cold the thing. Are you ready? What's up, you guys? So it's your girl April, and today's video, of course, you already know, it is my wig storage video. What better time to show you guys is today because my closet is really neat. I don't have any laundry bag in there, so I decided I would show you guys. So before we even start, before you guys even be like, why do you have wigs hanging on your mirror? Well, because these are my half wigs, and I really do like these wigs. And so, you guys, if you are ready for this wig storage video slash closet tour, because this is going to end up being one. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, come on in for my wig storage and closet tour. So you guys, this is my closet slash wig storage. Um, as you guys know, I do wear wigs a lot. I'm a big, huge wig lover. So for me, I do really like to keep them looking neat and nice. You know, I don't go tossing my wigs over here and over there. The ones that are on my mannequin heads are basically like my favorite favorites. Like I just really can't have like one favorite. Because for me, it's like a hobby because I really do like to change my look but it's also like an accessory like jewelry. So we're gonna start with my wigs on this side of the room. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of the styrofoam one. So I do go to my local beauty supply store and I buy these. Um, they're $10 a piece. They're used, but you know, you could buy them at like your beauty supply store, not like Sally's, but you know, like the hood beauty supply stores. I did purchase two mannequins like a long time ago. And it's these two right here. These were the very first two that I ever purchased. And they were on eBay. They were like $25, $28 a piece. So you have to pay for the shipping. And, you know, that gets a little bit pricey. Even if you buy them like on Amazon, it's still a little bit pricey. It's like $40 for one. So for $10, you know, it works out for me. Um, this one right here is one that I made. Um, I really can't remember which company sent me the hair, but I did make this one. Um, and I also made this one here, um, which is a lace frontal. This is a closure wig. This is a wig from YG Wigs that was like a blonde color and I turned it gray. This is one that I just did recently, which is by Divas Wigs. This one is one of my favorites, which is by Hair Vivi. I actually do love this one a lot. They have like the bombest wigs ever. So I really do love them a lot. Then we have the one at the end, which is another one of my favorites. And this is one that I actually made from a company called Amanda Hair, which was like a couple, a few months ago. And it's kinky straight. I love it. I wear it a lot. Um, she just was clean. I washed like a couple weeks ago and I put her on the mannequin head. The one behind her, which is also kinky straight and it's like a sandy color is by Nubian Hair. And that wig is probably like three years old. And I love that also it's a closure wig. 
and then this one here is about four years old um and this is hair from best lace wig that i made a closure wig out of and i don't really remember where this one is from um but i did make that one it's also a closure wig and this is also a closure wig um the reason why this one has a net on it is because it's raw hair and it swells up really bad so i don't really like to wear it that much because like within a couple hours it's swollen it just swells up really bad um so you know i don't really mess with that one and then this one here at the end is from um oh my god something locks i can't remember the name of them but i did do a video for them too so i do like to keep them like this of course i do come from time to time and brush them um if i'm not wearing them like that because they will get dusty so you definitely want to make sure that you brush them you know even if you put a net on them they still gonna get dusty but i do like to see them out i think that they look really nice like this um and how i do have them standing behind one another is um i did have these acrylic drawers um that i have purchased they came with two drawers and I actually did have these um, stored on my makeup desk, but I have reorganized everything and I got new storage. And I was trying to figure out how would I just kind of like have all of my mannequin heads on this particular shelf without them like sitting behind each other and kind of like bumping heads. So I put these to use. I had like a bunch of them and I used them as stands. So that way, you know, I can see them better and they're not like mashing into one another. And also, if you're wondering why do I have all of them with stocking caps, because if you put a stocking cap on the mannequin head, the wig is not going to stick. You can also use the T-pins, but sometimes they're a little bit hard to kind of like puncture. So if you put a stocking cap on it, the wig is not going to go. Guys, this is the other side of my closet, and this is where I try to keep like my blonde wigs. I'm not really sure why I'm so... Like, I'm really color coordinated. I like everything to be color coordinated, but especially with my clothes and stuff. So, these are like my favorite blondish color wigs. Um, two of them I made, one of them I processed. Okay, so this one right here is one that I made. And okay, I'm gonna tell you about this mannequin. If you ever try to purchase a mannequin that looks anything like this and has the base and has this type of body trust me when i tell you do not purchase this i purchased this from ebay and it's the worst ever um you really cannot move it it has to sit up against the wall or else the head is going to fall off and it also comes out the base it doesn't lock so it's really worthless so try to avoid these mannequin heads i thought it was really nice but they're really worth nothing so never get a mannequin head like that my suggestion to you guys is to just go to the beauty supply store and ask them at the counter hey do you guys have any used mannequin heads that's the best way to do it this one right here is um one from uh what is that store called wigs by okay and it was very brassy and orange when they sent it to me and this is just the lace front this is a closure wig right here um it was very brassy when they sent it to me and it was just all one color so i toned it and then I just, you know, colored the roots on it. It's a nice wig. I do like it. Like I said, it's a lace front. And then this one right here is my first one that I had just colored um, blonde. This one is like three years old in November to be three years old. And I love this one a lot. It's also a closure wig. I have worn it a lot, a lot. This one is by Her Given Hair. Um, not, excuse me, not Her Given Hair. Um, my Quality Hair. This video is like recent i just did this this wig was actually like a pussy yellow color and i toned it and just i just did a lot of stuff to this wig so if you ever want to check the video out it's definitely on my channel and this one is a new wig that i just got um and i did wear it it's by ion hair this is a um 360 and it's so beautiful it's really really pretty it's a 360 it was already pre-plugged it's like amazing 22 inches 180 percent density this wig has some weight to it but it's so pretty like i really do like this one right here so i just took it off the other day and washed it so i had it on for like three days had up in a high bun you know popping this one was definitely popping so another storage place in my closet is this uh hanging shelf i purchased this from ikea 
couple years ago. It was probably like, what was like five, six bucks, something like that. You know, Ikea has everything. Like, I actually really do like this. I've purchased a couple of them. But these are, um, okay, so these are the wigs that I don't wear. I mean, I do wear them, but they're like, they're not my favorite, but I like them. You know what I'm saying? I like them. Some of them are old. Like, when I say old, like a few years old or like five years old. But they're majority of these are all wigs that I've made. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not a majority of them. So, like, right here on this shelf is, like, my hair extensions. Like, my clipping hair from Better Length. I do have, like, three of these. And they have, like, some really nice clipping hair. Um, you know, so this is, like, their yakky straight hair, which is really bomb. They have, like, some really nice hair um, from my Better Length. And um, also here is, like, a couple of braided, a, a braided wigs. And then there's some more clipping hair right here. Like from Irresistible Me um, that I have. And I got like a bunch of um, Estelle Secrets, like a lot. Like I do have like, and then another one from Irresistible Me that I have. Um, also, these are like just random, not random wigs, but these are also wigs that I made. And I really do like to keep them in like plastic. Okay, so I do keep everything in plastic. Okay, so this is a U-part wig that I made like, probably like, I wanna say probably almost three years ago. Um, and it's really pretty, like, I actually do like it a lot. I can't even remember the video, but this is a U-part and it's very long. Um, yeah, you know, I do keep a lot of them like this. Um, I do have a lot of U-parts as um, wigs that I've made too. So I think like I have made everything from U-parts, closure wigs, lace frontals, um, 360s. I'm, I mean, like I've never made like a ventilated wig, but you know, these are really good to have. You know what I'm saying? You can buy these anywhere, but I do like the ones from Ikea because you kind of get like more shelving options. So this is like a really good option if you have like a lot of wigs. Doesn't matter, human or synthetic, you can definitely, you know, use one. And there's just like more wigs down here. There's some from um, My First Wigs, which is um, RPG shows, affiliate assistant, RPG show wigs, um, wigs only. This is a video I just did. Um, and then these all down here, all of these wigs down here are like all the wigs that I have ever made. Um, well, not have ever made because I probably made a total of probably like about 800 to 1,000 wigs. God knows, but I made a lot of them. Um, this is one wig that I made like a few years ago, and this is a closure wig. And this one is really, really nice. Once you wash them, they come out to look really, really nice. So kind of looks kind of like kind of janky right now because it was smashed down. So all you gotta do is just basically rewash them. It's got a lot of hair to it. So all right, you guys. So here is where I stash my synthetic wigs that I review. So these are all of my synthetic wigs. Um and I just store them in this huge bin. And they're kind of like overspilling right now because it's time for a synthetic wig lot sale. Normally what happens is once this bin kind of gets too full, I will get a sale ready, but I haven't had time. So, you know, they're just like sitting there waiting to go to new homes. Okay. Um, so the last spot, not even the last spot, but the last spot in here is another mannequin display and these are not my favorite mannequins because they're styrofoam but they're the long neck styrofoams they kind of look creepy to me but they were cheap they were like i think i paid like 24 dollars for seven of them so you can't beat that so let's check them out. okay you guys so this is the last part of my mannequins in my closet and these are my styrofoam mannequins um like i said they look kind of creepy but they serve the purpose okay really cheap um like she I is one that i actually made like three years ago and i have bleached her and then i went and dyed her like a few months ago i actually do really like this wig it's a closure wig and it's one of my favorites so i do wear her often and then next to her is a kind of like it's not new but it is new it's not a year old this is from rpg show this was their red wig and i like it a lot so i do like to wear that from time to time this one right here on the end with the taped up neck 
is from Best Lace Wigs. You guys have seen me wear this wig on several, several, several videos. Please excuse the wobbly arm because this camera is heavy. I decided to use like my regular camera for this because it just like better than my vlogging camera. In the back, um, that brown kinky curly one was one that I made a couple of years ago and she is actually really, really pretty. I've worn her quite a few times. It's also a closure wig. And then the one next to it is a wig without a closure. It's the small less you gotta flip it over. This one I actually finished making on my grandson's birthday. Like when I say birthday, meaning the day he was born, I finished making that wig. And then I have just like a lace frontal and another wig that I made. I can't remember where that one. So these are some of my purses and let's I'll show you the rest. So you guys, these are my other purses right here. Um, this is a authentic coach bag, which I was sent for my birthday by RPGshow.com. Um, I don't really use too much um, just because the color is a little bit different, so it's kind of hard to match. I do use it sometimes depending on what I wear, but not as often. This one right here, I do use a lot. This is a replica Louis Vuitton. Um, I did get this from iOffer. It took like two months, I think, to come. It's a nice bag. It's good quality, but you know, um, for the price, you get what you pay for, but it is really a nice bag. Um, this one right here is really, really old. I think this bag is like 10 or 11 years old. This is an authentic Louis Vuitton. This is like one of my favorite bags. And my husband bought this for me like forever ago. So this is one of my favorites. I keep it here. Love it. This one right here is a um, Louis Vuitton bag also. And this one is um, also a replica. I haven't used this probably like a couple times but I'm definitely gonna do a video on it because I did just get a new one from this other app and so I do like to purchase like some replicas because I like to give people options so I decided to just like change a couple things in my channel um this one right here is actually a new um this one is a fanny pack by Gucci and okay so I got this from this app called waiting low I think that's how you say it um but I'll definitely do a video on it it was pretty cheap I think it was like 20 bucks um the quality is okay. I know that if I would have spent probably like 60 or 70, it would have been a lot better. It's it's decent, but it's not like the best of the best. I just don't like the way the Gucci is right here, but it's okay. It's decent. I have worn it. And I also think like the belt strap could be a little bit more um, longer. So if you're thicker than me, then it's not going to fit, but you know, around your waist. This is a um, coach bag that I've had for some years. Um, my husband bought this one also for, I think it was like Valentine's Day. These are some of my shoes. Um, these shelves did not come in the closet. I had to buy these shelves from like a thrift store because where you put your shoes at in this closet, you won't be able to see them. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to put them on the top shelves, but I really didn't want them there. Um, there actually is a shelf behind here. And once you put your clothes, you're not going to see them. So I decided to put them on this. Um, like I said, I like everything to be color coordinated. So, you know, greens are greens, beige, yellow, you know, reds and pinks and like the browns. Um, a lot of these basically are all heels and I don't really go anywhere. So I don't really get a chance to wear them. Um, my favorite boots down below, which are these by Chinese Laundry. I've had these for like four years now since I've moved here. I moved here like five years ago. I moved here five years ago, but yeah, I've had these for four years. I love these boots. Okay. Um, these are from Nordstrom and I love them. Like they're super comfortable and stuff. And like some boots from Just Fab and stuff. And then on this side right here. So these right here are just like my sandals. Some of my sandals like flats and stuff. Um, I just keep them here. Some of them got tags on because like I said, I don't go nowhere. And then I have like all of my just other heels. You know what I mean? Color coordinated like always. Um, that's just me. Like because... I'm really anal about that, so I definitely have to be color coordinated with everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, and then on this side is like some of my clothes, and I'll show you guys. So this is where I keep all of my skirts. This was actually for wigs. This lady sent these to me, and I was like, I'm not about to put my wigs in here. Um, on these little plastic stands, they would have never worked. So I just put my clothes in them. These are like my extra, well, I don't have extra clothes, but these are my t-shirts because I really do like like t-shirts um, like with designs on them. I don't know because probably because I don't go nowhere. And these are like like my shorts that I like to wear with elastic because I'm always in the house. 
and just like random stuff that doesn't fit my bathing suits in here and then right here are just more t-shirts this is like another one of those organizers and um some purses and then this is all my dresses these are where i keep all of my dresses once again everything is color coordinated you know what i mean this just makes my life easier i really don't like to look for stuff and i just feel like it's a lot needed if you color coordinate it so just like everything is color coordinated from either it's just black or just like crazy prints um are together you know what i mean and then it just like goes from gray to black and then there's like blue denim okay and then there's like white and beige stuff um and then you have like other different prints and stuff like that and pinks and reds you know what i'm saying and then like some floral prints over here and stuff like that and then you go from like aqua blue to blue here are all of my blouses and shirts okay so you know same concept other thing is color coordinated from blues yellows and mustards like it's all color coordinated um whites and creams and stuff together blacks and grays and at the bottom are like all of my jackets and stuff like i don't really get to wear these because it don't really get that cold out here but these are perfect for this weather um i love camouflage camouflage is like my favorite print i'm not really sure why so i do have like a lot of camouflage jackets um this is one that i've never wore it came from zaffo i love this jacket but the short the sleeves are kind of short like they fit right here at the wrist and i don't really like that so but it's a cute little kind of like motorcycle type jacket this is um a bomber jacket that's camouflage and i do like this i have I've worn that quite a few times this one right here is from i think it's from zaffo too this one is new and i love this one because it stretches this is like the bombest camouflage jacket ever this is like a kind of like a, a dress jacket but yes i'm about to wear this to new york i love this jacket i've been waiting to wear this and yeah like so i keep my cardigans here and like i do have my favorites like my leather jackets um you know uh, my little floral blazers and stuff like that my denim jackets and then all the way at the end over here is like my pants when i used to have like an office job or not even just like to get dressed up and in the back of these is like another shelf and this is just like i don't even know if you guys can see this but this is just like another shelf and i keep like my clothes that are too big or too small i'll put them right there so you guys i'm going to show you my bathroom because that's like the last place where i keep some of my wigs that i'm about to wash so this is the last part of the tour this is my bathroom i did do a bathroom video tour recently um so i'll definitely link it below if i remember but i keep some of my wigs in here because this bin right here is just like the wigs that i have to wash that are mine um my favorite wig by hair bb is in here too this is like the kinky straight wig this is the first wig they ever sent me and i actually do love it to death like this wig is like life like if you guys have never purchased a wig from them you definitely have to give them a try and then also my other new favorite wig from um wigs by or not wigs by excuse me uh, my first wigs is this one right here which is a glueless full lace wig i love this because the lace just like melts in your skin and um yeah so i wash my wigs right here um this is where i wash them sometimes i put them on the mannequin heads in the closet but i find like Washing them on a styrofoam head is a lot easier because you can put other pins in them. So I just wash them on here um, and let them air dry. I never blow dry them because I don't really have time for all of that. It's just too much work and I don't really like to dry the hair out. And then I do have like a big basket of wigs that stays in the bathroom. Um, they're just for like head wraps. And then these. These are like my newest wigs that I got in. And these are for video review. So yeah, you guys um that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know you guys can come back anytime you know you can come through try some wigs on you know we could do some makeup and stuff like that try some outfits on we could do like a little fashion photo shoot whatever you want but now it's time for me to go and i hope you guys leave too 
So on that note, you guys can go get out of here. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.